Just over six months ago, all of our worlds were turned upside down. Suddenly we could no longer meet our friends, hug them and kiss them as we normally would. We could no longer go for drinking pubs, in gardens, eat in restaurants, exercise in gyms, go for a haircut or even travel abroad. We were all about to start a new way of life that was so different, possibly boring, restricting, challenging and most of all, frightening. For the stories that we write, Dawn and I conjure up some very scary threats. Ghosts and witches and evil spirits, malevolent children, demons, even a leather belt that had a murderous life of its own and went around strangling people. It isn't easy though to come up with um, a storyline, a threat that's nearly as disturbing sorry, as something as tragic and awful as COVID-19. Here is an enemy that's invisible to the eye, yet it's so infectious it can spread through a community like wildfire. Unlike many of the evil characters in our stories though, this threat doesn't pick and choose its victims. It's not out for revenge, it's not out for blood like a vampire, it's not hungry for flesh. It will infect you no matter what you are or what religion you are or whether you've led a faultless life or you've been quite evil. And we're all having to come to terms with the realisation that it will take a long time yet before we are able to socialise again without this concern around us. Um, even then life will never quite be the same. In the meantime, please, we'd just love you to focus on the positives. Everything you have in life that you feel is a real plus. Just really focus on that and please just try and protect everybody around you. Protect yourselves. And if there's one thing that writers of supernatural fiction know for certain is that pain is never funny and sadly death is never a hope. We hope that the characters we write about, Clarissa in uh, Dawn's lovely supernatural thriller Diviner and Detective Sergeant Jamila Patel in my book Ghost Virus. We hope that the way they deal with evil will give you some inspiration for dealing with COVID-19. And even though many of the hauntings and killings in our stories are un well, undeniably grim, aren't they really? Um, they will at least take your mind off this horrendous grim reality um, of COVID-19. So we'd just like to say a personal message from us to you all. Please stay safe and remember the motto, the wind of change blows, but some build walls and others